coning of wheel. Let us say the diameter of wheel is 1.5 meter. It means in this, you, if you check, in this, if you check, this center yellow line is for 1.5 meter diameter. And this remaining yellow lines for lesser diameter. This yellow lines are for lesser diameter. Or I will, uh, I will change the color. I will change the color. Center line is for 1.5. These blue lines are here. These blue lines are here for the lesser diameter. And this uh, red lines are here for the bigger diameter. Are for the bigger diameter. It means in this particular wheel, in this particular wheel, all are the random values. Okay, do not worry about the, do not say, sir, from where this 1.5 came. This is for 1.5. These blue lines are for 1.6 or I can say more than 1.5. Sorry, less than 1.5. These are for less than 1.5. And this red line is for <coughs> more than 1.5. 1.6, 1.7. Yeah? The same story will happen here also. The same story will happen here also. These are, these red lines are for the bigger diameter. These red lines for the bigger diameter. I can say this is the central diameter 1.5. And these blue lines are for the smaller diameter. Smaller diameter. Clear? Clear? Now you see. Now you see. Let us say. Let us say. Now this wheel is moving. This wheel is moving. This is the wheel arrangement. And this wheel is moving on a curve. This wheel is moving on a curve. The same curve I am bringing here. The same curve I am bringing here. Now check. Now check. This is the outer wheel. This is the inner wheel. Okay? The same curve I am bringing here. The same curve. Are bhai, outer tag needs more diameter. Do you have the more diameter? Yes, you have the more diameter. Are bhai, inner track needs less diameter. Do you have the less diameter? Yes, I have the less diameter. It means, it means, it means, it means on the straight track, what was happening? This was a straight track. On the straight track, you can see here, on the straight track, this yellow line was in the touch of the track. Why yellow line? Because the yellow line giving you the 1.5 diameter. You need 1.5. I also need 1.5. Okay, we are running on this. We are running on this. Here also, here also the same thing was happening. On the straight track, only this yellow part will be in the touch. Because we need the yellow part. Because we need the 1.5 diameter. But once it will come on the track, now this is outer rail. This is the inner rail. Are bhaiya, inner rail need less diameter. It means the wheel will move. Wheel will automatically move because it has that less diameter. So wheel will automatically move in this direction. In this direction. Are bhaiya, outer wheel need the maximum diameter. Do you have the maximum diameter? Yes, we are having that red color diameter. So this also will move in this direction. It means this entire assembly now will move in this particular side. In this particular side like this. In this particular side. I hope you can visualize this. I am making it back and again. You can see this. Initially it was here. Now it went there. It was here. Went there. It was here. Went there. It was here. Went there. Here. Went there. Is that clear? You can see the blue part came on the rail. Here the red part came on the rail. <laughs> red part means the required higher diameter. And the blue part means required less diameter. Clear? It means once it will go back, listen very carefully, once it will go back to the straight rail, it is on the curve, it is, it is happening on the curve, once it will go back to the straight, back to the straight rail, it means again you need which diameter? You need yellow color or I can say you need the 1.5 diameter. Again this wheel, what, will, what this wheel will do? Again will come in the opposite direction. You can see, now it will come back in this direction. Now it will come back in this direction because we need the yellow color back. So look, again let us say curve will come. So what will happen? Again let us say curve will come. So curve will come, it will go to the towards red side. Curve says straight aya, come back here. Go, come back. Go, come back. But, see again you can see this. Go, come back. Go, come back. This movement is occurring at the top head of the rail. This movement is occurring at the top head of the rail. That is why open the notebook and you can see we have written that top head wheel is due to sliding and slipping of the wheel. You can see this is the sliding and slipping of the wheel at the top.
This is the sliding and slipping of the wheel. I told you that by the evening you will understand why this flange is striking the side. You can see, you can see this is striking the side. You can see this striking the side. Ah ha ha ha. Aya vapas, gaya vapas, aya vapas, gaya vapas. You can see how it is striking. How it is striking the wheel. How it is striking the wheel. You can see this. You can see this, how it is striking the side. That's why the wear will be caused. That's why the wear will be caused. Why we have provided coning of wheel? Because coning of wheel will give you the variable diameter in a single wheel. So whenever the water diameter is required, it will automatically achieve that. This is a very high impact. If this is a very high impact over this rail, if this is a very high impact over this rail, can we save this rail from the side wear? Yes, you can save this rail from the side wheel. And when you can save, do not allow this particular flange to touch this. In that case only you can, in that case only you can reduce this. Do not allow this. How it is possible? Or if the train will move, if the train will take turn, definitely it will achieve the bigger diameter. And if it will achieve the bigger diameter, then definitely this flange will touch this side wheel. That, we should maintain, they have suggested that we even on the curve, we should maintain the one centimeter distance. We should maintain the one centimeter distance from here to here or maximum one centimeter. Even if you can maintain 0.1 centimeter distance, then also you can say I have not allowed it to the touch. We have to reduce this touch and how it is possible. Why it is touching? Now listen very carefully, listen very carefully. Very, very important aspect. Why it is touching? Because this wheel is coming in this side. That's why it is touching. I have to control this. I have to control this. Tell me one answer. If I have to control this outer wheel, so should I control the movement of outer wheel or I should control the movement of inner wheel? Or I should contain the movement of inner wheel? I need to maintain this gap even on the curve up to one centimeter. I have to maintain this. Very, very good. Very, very good. Revati, everybody very good because we need to control the movement of inner wheel. Are it is going, going in this side. It will go in this side because it is coming downward side. Because it is coming downward side. Whatever amount it will come, the same amount it will go. Are whatever amount it will come, the same amount it will go. So in total, we have to control the inner wheel movement. And that is why only if you want to reduce the side wear, again, it is on your choice. If you want to reduce the side wear, that's why we have to provide, we have to provide a check rail. We have to provide a check rail or I can say additional rail over here. Over the inner track, we have to provide. Why we have to provide an inner track? Inner track so that we can control the movement of the inner wheel because once it will come two danger you have saved first of all when this white rail was not there there is a danger that it will come out from the surface there is a danger that it will come out from the surface so you have saved that danger also at the same time you have protected the maximum moment it means now this entire system now this entire system now this entire system can move only up to this rail can move only up to this rail. Now you can see if it can move only up to this rail, I can maintain the gap. Here my diagram is not perfect. So I will, I'm not able to make, achha, diagram is perfect actually. This has been stuck over. You can see, I have maintained that particular gap. I have maintained. Why I have maintained? Because now I have a protection wall over there. Initially it was not there. I was moving this wheel towards too much here. So that I can show you the touch of this. Now you can maintain this gap. Is that clear? Is that clear? So where the check rail should be provided? Where the check rail should be provided? Check rail should be provided at the inner part of the wheel or inner side of the inner side of the curve track so that you can control the movement of inner wheel so that it will not go up to the maximum point and you can maintain the one centimeter distance or I can say less than one centimeter distance. Now one more problem will occur. Two problems is solved. Two problems solved. Last problem is because this entire story of a curve, because it is a curve, you know at the curve, at the outer side, the centrifugal force will occur. 
and that centrifugal force will bring out or try to take out the vehicle. Why? Because centrifugal force works in the outward side. Now just imagine. Now just imagine. This wheel is like this. You can see here. This Okay, camera is here. So this wheel is at the slope and my rail is completely straight, completely straight. Now what will happen? Now what will happen? Once the centrifugal force will generate and the centrifugal force, what it will do? Centrifugal force, what it will do? Will move the train towards the outward side. So it is moving the train towards the outward side. And there is a high chance of this particular rail can overturn or I can say to take away from the, from the track. To protect that, you have already provided flat footed. To protect that, you have already provided the Bella says one more production we will give there. What kind of production we will give there? That we will make the rail also in the same slope. We will initially this was the situation. Now we will make the rail also in this situation. That is known as tilting of rails. This will protect you from the overturning in a more side. So what I will do? What I will do? I will entire thing. Entire rail is little bit curved, little bit tilted. Here also, this entire rail, especially on the outer side, especially on the outer side, little tilted. And because now this will also get tilted, each and everything will get tilted. Each and everything will get tilted. Little, little tilt I will give you. Okay. Because they all are get tilted. So definitely now the sleeper is like this and the rail is tilted. Rail is tilted. How it will survive? Sleeper also be get tilted in the same situation. Sleeper also be have to be get tilted in the same situation. So sleeper is now like this. Sleeper is also now like this. Sleeper is also now like this. They are also tilted. So this is known as edging of sleeper. This tilt of the sleeper is known as edging of sleeper. Edging of sleeper. Edging of sleeper. And this is known as tilting of rail. This is known as tilting of rail. And this is known as coning of wheel. Coning of wheel. And whatever the slope you have given in the coning of wheel, the same slope, 1 raised to 20, the same slope has been provided in tilting of rail. And the same slope has been provided in the sleeper of the edging of the sleeper. 